Alrighty, so with MW3 ranked finally out, you may have heard some conversation about overclocking your controller. You might not know what that is. You might not know how to do it. Basically, overclocking your controller is going to be lowering the input lag when playing on PC. It's just going to make everything feel a little bit more responsive. So don't go anywhere because I'm going to show you guys exactly how to overclock your controller in less than five minutes. Alrighty, guys, so you're going to want to head over to the link in the description. It's going to be right at the top. Once you guys get there, click on HIDUSBF.zip, click on View Raw, and it's going to start downloading. Now just open that up. Once that is open, hit compressed folder tools extracted, just extract it anywhere you want. Once it's extracted, open the driver folder and click setup. A prompt is going to show up. Just click yes. Now once this is open, go up to the drop down menu, click all, and here you're going to want to find your controller. Now for me, mine is this audio endpoint dual sense wireless controller. Click on that. And now these are the important steps to make sure you follow in this order. So click on it. Then you're going to want to hit install service and then open. Once you do that, go down to selected rate, choose the highest one possible. If you have a PS5 controller, I think 8,000 is the highest. So click 8,000 or whatever the highest is, install service, open. And then this is normally going to be unticked. So check that and then hit install service and open again. Now, all you're going to want to do is just unplug the controller, wait for it to go away and just replug it back in, simple as that. And now you should have an overclocked controller going from five millisecond delay to, in this case, if you can get up to 8,000, I think it's like a 0.125 millisecond. Is that a fast response rate? Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for the tutorial today. Make sure if this did help you out and you are utilizing this in MW3 rank to smash the like button as it really helps the channel grow. Make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're at it so you're never missing any Call of Duty content here on the channel. And with that said, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.